all right guys this is free with zip consider subscribing hit the subscribe button below and the bell notification icon to always get notifications each time we upload our videos but if already subscribed thank you for subscribing and make sure you share our videos across social media platforms so that others will get to see what is trending and what we are talking about on social media and don't forget to drop your comments in the comment section below and please always support FluSD by sharing uh, my videos across social media platforms all right some people feel that yes we talk too much on the artists you know when you look at nigeria right now you find out that we have three famous artists that a lot of people are always looking up to at the point in time. Either they are not talking about whiskey or looking up to whiskey or Bonner Boy and David O. Away from that, I have some serious issues I want to discuss about um, in recent time. And some people are just like, yes, what is this guy still doing? Because uh, a lot of people came out with some evidence against him and said, yes. Uh, he's been like, you know, kind of uh, swindling people, you know, kind of uh, playing people of their money and the rest. And still, the EFCC could not arrest him and Interpol and the rest. What is happening? And this guy is, uh, by the day, getting like, you know, getting worse like a hush puppy at the point in time. But the most disturbing aspect of it is that, yes, you know, most people accusing these guys are Nigerians. And that is actually disturbing to an extent. He's a person of Desmond, uh, Desi Handsome. And a lot of people, we uh, know this guy on Instagram and the rest is being vocal a bit at the point in time yes a recent big boy came out to say yes he swindled me of about uh, 1.5 million era and uh, that money is painful to an extent and uh, this person uh, actually bought um, something bitcoin from him and till now he didn't get uh, the result at the end of the day let's try and listen to him because he made a video of that and shared a lot of the conversations they had on social media and that is quite uh, disturbing and i think um you know, this is disturbing to understand. It's come a lot, guys. Don't uh, trade your Bitcoin with that guy named Desi Armstrong or King Desmond. I shot this guy up on Instagram. He sent me his WhatsApp number, so I told him. I even called him on a video call to ensure I was talking with the right person. And I told you I have BTC worth 60000 dollars But because I don't know you, I'm going to trade little with you. So I sent this guy $3,000. That was on Wednesday. Up to now, I haven't got a dime. So I was trying to confront him. Guy, please send me my money. He told me that because I did not trade up to $50,000 with him, that he's not going to credit me. That uh, that money is too little. So when I was trying to confront him, he even blocked me. That guy's a fucking game ripper, guys. Don't go trade up business with him. You're going to lose. Just because people are famous on Instagram don't mean we're going to trade with them. Yes, it's coming from this guy. Actually spoke about that. You know, sending $3,000 just to trade on Bitcoin, man. Uh, according to what he said, he said because he's not up to $50,000, he's not going to credit him. I, I think, okay, why not return his money at least? That is another point we are now looking at. And uh, this person is coming out to say, man, because somebody is famous on Instagram does not mean that everything about him is legit. Because this is like about three times now I've heard something negative about this Desi Handsome and that is quite disturbing. According to a report at the time, he was declared wanted in Nigeria by EFCC and then ran to South Africa from there. And uh, this guy has been living lavish on social media and be saying, uh, be mentoring people. You, yeah, you will understand that most people that are into crime and into uh, fraud, other things. At the end of the day, they turn uh, ins motivational speakers, inspirational speakers, and that is one thing I've noticed about that. I followed his video for a while. I got you to understand that yes, it has a lot of contents. We talks to actually swindle people into believing what uh, he is not, and that is uh, disturbing to an extent. And uh, I think uh, he's becoming famous in the wrong. 
direction yes coming in from the central bank of nigeria is another point of view and a lot of people are not like too happy about things why some other persons are saying yes we should allow the central bank governor to actually do what he knows how to do best that is what we are now walking around at this point in time but the central ba uh, bank governor actually um says something that uh you know <laughs> caught my own imagination and he accused aboki fs um the founder of aboki fs of doing one thing according to a report he said we will track you uh, and cbn governor emefile accuses aboki fs fs founder of sabotaging nigerian economy that is something disturbing and it's a huge one i think uh, we have to actually you know kind of be sensitive about this thing so far yes according to a report uh, the central bank governor Godwin Emefile has vowed to track down and find Oni Oni Winde Ade Dotun, the founder of popular online platform that publishes live foreign exchange rates. The 60 years old said at a media briefing on Friday, September 17, 2021, that the platform is sabotaging. Uh, the Nigerian economy by publishing a speculative black market rate. He noted that previous attempts to engage Adedo to, to understand uh, his model and how he arrives at uh, advertising rates have been unsuccessful. Emefile said, we found him as a Nigerian who lives in England and conducts uh this nefarious and criminal activity on our economy it is an economic sabotage and we will pursue him wherever he is we will report him to international security agency emefile said um we found him as a nigeria who lives in england that is another thing and they know where he lives already that is one thing i've gotten to understand and uh also um he said they are going to track him down that is a person of mr oni windy uh is going to be tracked down and he said they are going to report him to the appropriate uh, security agencies according to him he said because we cannot allow you to continue to conduct an illegal activity that kills our economy the cbm boss said a bookie efforts has been under observation for the past two and a half years and that nigerian plans to go to the united kingdom to conduct further investigations on him and this is quite um you know interesting uh i i think ever since right now the cbn governor and the cbn most um kind of um holy economic leaders in nigeria they be pointing accusing fingers on some certain things sometimes they will say yahoo boys are the problem sometimes they will call out uh, politicians in the opposition sometimes they call out a lot of persons and this is quite disturbing to an extent before i dive off i want you guys to kindly subscribe to my youtube channel hit the subscribe button below the bell notification icon to always get notifications each time i upload my videos